tonight on Evening. Make the holidays extra meaningful by shopping local. From riveting reeds to unique house plants. It's just magical. And the sweet treat that's a true taste of the Northwest. Plus, we'll take you inside Seattle's new Christmas market. This is Evening's Northwest Gift Guide. Bill Coleman to the Seattle Christmas Market at Seattle Center. I'm Jim Dever along with my good friend, Kim Holcomb, and Saint, my Saint other Brian. friend, St. Brian. This episode is like, it's kind of like a Northwest gift guide. It's yes. all the best gifts this season. Yes, and even though this place is inspired by German Christmas markets, it also sells tons of local food and wares, and it's lots of fun. For me, it is important that I can bring people this cultural experience, and I'm really happy that it's finally here. It's a replica of the German Christmas markets from Malta's childhood. Wooden huts filled with vendors, some international. Do you see this wrench? Uh huh. It's not rusted, it's made out of chocolate. Whoa. Yeah. What about that hammer? Made out of chocolate. The horseshoes, though. Chocolate. Uh, the train. Yeah, what yeah, is that yeah. made of? Mm, chocolate. It's all chocolate. That's the whole idea. There are also small local sellers, like socks made by a Lake Stevens native, homemade jams and beautiful cakes from West Seattle, and bees in the burbs from Maple Valley. I'm very excited about this honey stand because it is owned by the Holcombs, Snorm, Kaylee, and Nut. We're not related, but we're family now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Funny, I don't think of anything sweet when I think of Holcomb. <laughs> you can also shop artisan gifts, ride the carousel, stroll beneath the mistletoe in Lover's Lane, and visit the Gourmet Strasse for a bite to eat. At the center of everything is the pyramid, a German structure dating back centuries. We use it to serve the most important drink, which is the Glühwein. And Glühwein is a mulled wine with spices, perfect for this type of weather. Cheers. Ooh, did you spill your I did. blue vine? Mm. Don't leave without meeting St. Nick. I would like um, a new um, EV uh, electric okay. vehicle, oh, of course. Santa. And um, also, I think I might need a new job soon. A new job soon? Yeah. Oh, we've been that naughty? <laughs> <laughs> Growing up with it, it was just so important. So you feel a little bit of Germany while you are in downtown Seattle. I think we all agree, the glue vine, pretty, pretty tasty. And if you would like to come to the Seattle Christmas Market, it is open every day now through Christmas Eve. We have all the information about when it's open and how to get tickets linked to our website, king5evening.com. Now, you may want to keep a paper and pencil handy. Do people use paper and pencil anymore? I don't, know, maybe I don't just even get think. your phone out, write get it in your notes. Phone out. You're going to want to take some notes because we've got some other great local gift ideas. Yep, starting with the bibliophile in your life, here are some Northwest books that we think are worth giving. My name is Dean Tolson. I played with Seattle Supersonics for four years. It was a short lived career, but former Sonic Dean Tolson made a big impact once netting 12 points in just 60 seconds. The most points ever scored by any NBA player in one minute, me. But off the court, Dean struggled. At 32 years old, I, uh, I figured out that I couldn't read and write, I was illiterate. He turned it all around, and now the guy who once couldn't read a book has written one, a memoir called Power Forward. And I've gone from illiteracy to uh, a bestseller. When photographer Matika Wilbur couldn't find a true representation of indigenous people, she decided to create it herself. We needed something in the contemporary context to teach our children about who we are. Matika set out to photograph a person from every federally recognized tribe across all 50 states. The result, Project 562, changing the way we see Native America. 72% of Americans say they've never met a Native person. This is an opportunity for that to change. I live in Aberdeen, a cool little city. Here, let me show you what makes me so giddy. 
A young mother hopes her children's book will change the narrative of her hometown. A is for Aberdeen, celebrates the positive things about the city. K is for Kurt Cobain Park, one of the many parks where we like to play and have fun. Caitlin Rowan wrote the book and did all the illustrations featuring the people and places that make Aberdeen amazing. I really wanted to make something that my child could be proud of where she was born and proud of where she grew up. A Northwest naturalist is on a mission to change the way you look at your backyard. And look at these cool lichens. Kelly Brenner wrote and illustrated The Naturalist at Home, a guidebook full of nature projects for grown-ups, ranging from preserving spider webs to finding all of the critters living in a patch of moss. And there's one thing she hopes her book inspires. To slow down and notice the small things and change your perspective and realize how cool it all is. And finally, retail giant Costco is the subject of a new book. We didn't want it to look like a catalog. We wanted it to look like a fun adventure you could jump into. The joy of Costco, a treasure hunt from A to Z, is the brainchild of David and Susan Schwartz. I'm head to toe Costco. Everything is Costco except for this. But I know people who have found their husband at Costco too. The book takes a whimsical approach to the history of Costco, taking members behind the scenes and sharing little known facts. We're not Costco employees. We're not shilling for Costco. We did this entirely independently. This is a fan book. It's a love letter to Costco. And we have two more suggestions from Tacoma author Matt Croct. OMFGBs. This oh. is a guide to bees. This is for you, Kim. Thank and you. the field guide to dumb birds of the whole stupid world. This is for you, page 52 especially. Oh, yeah. we didn't get you anything yet, but we're going to. No, we I aren't. I promise. It, we are. Um, no. By the way, books inspire a micro perfumery in Seattle. Mm -hmm. uh, makes some of the most unique and best smelling gifts around. Take a look. This is what I do all day. Jen Seam's work is solitary, but she's never really alone. She's surrounded by people from the past. My company is called Immortal Perfumes, and I specialize in literary and historical fragrances. I like to think about what would Marie Antoinette have worn? What would the characters from The Great Gatsby wear? Yes, in case you couldn't tell, I was an English major. Jen's created scents inspired by Hemingway and Mary Shelley, F. Scott Fitzgerald and his wife Zelda. This horror novel inspired one of her bestsellers. Her most famous perfume has the most memorable name. Dead Writers smells like old books. The internet loves her selection. And it also loves Jen because of her story, one she decided to share after being diagnosed with breast cancer. I was 35 when I was diagnosed, and so it was really important to me to be honest with them. Working through cancer treatment helped me so much. I had no idea the opportunities that I would have, and now that I do have a platform, the idea that I get to help people, if I can help even one person, then that makes all of it worth it for me. She's now cancer free. And with every bottle she ships, Jen shares her gratitude. On old book paper, I like to write, thank you. One day she hopes to write her own book too. For now, Immortal Perfumes pays tribute to the classics, worth reading and wearing. Exactly, yeah. Choose your own adventure. All right, you can buy Immortal Perfumes online. And Jen actually created a Gothic perfume advent calendar this year, which Wired Magazine named the best smelling advent calendar of 2023. Wow, well, no one has a better sense of smell than dogs, with the possible exception of my wife, unfortunately. <laughs> anyway, dogs can celebrate the holidays with some new performance fashions. A Kirkland dog owner invented clothing that protects against both rain and dangerous UV rays. The pieces are sewn in Seattle, and the company is named in honor of the owner's best furry friend, Louie. Celebrate 35 years of chocolate dipped sweetness with Chucker Cherries. Plus, an unforgettable experience for the adventurer in your life. <laughs> when Evening's Northwest Gift Guide returns. 
Welcome back to Seattle Center from the new Seattle Christmas Market. We are having a great time here. You can do a lot of shopping here and we are sharing plenty of places where you can buy local gifts. Yeah, here's a place. It's in the Central District. It's a gallery that celebrates black art, artists and culture. It's called Art Noir. Here you'll find unique, colorful and creative pieces from journals and books to beauty products. And the artists behind them all receive 100% of the net proceeds. Things that I've been acutely aware of is how we've had this drain, a displacement of black art and culture from this particular community. Black artists are the keepers of our culture. And so it was really important to me to create a space where they could be highlighted, showcased, and also have a revenue stream. Art Noir is located at Midtown Square on Union. It's opened Wednesday through Sunday. For the foodie in your life, how about the ultimate Northwest gift? Okay. Chocolate covered cherries made by a family owned business outside Yakima for the past 35 years. At the Chucker Cherries flagship store in Prosser, Pam Montgomery loves introducing Washington customers to the fruit in their own backyard. When it's fresh, there's nothing better. The story of Chucker Cherries begins back in 1984. Our young family moved from Seattle to the Yakima Valley and purchased an 8,000 tree cherry orchard. And I noticed in walking my three young daughters around the orchard that after harvest with 8,000 trees, a few cherries were left over. And I noticed hanging on the branch, they increased in natural sugar and got better and better. And that was the impetus. Pam wanted to sell dehydrated cherries, but the experts said that was impossible without adding sugar. My vision was always no preservatives, no added sugar. And then if you want something luscious, dip it in the finest chocolate, right? But don't add sugar to a fruit. From the hand-picked orchards outside Prosser, Chucker gets bins and bins of cherries. We begin the dehydration process, which puts them into a chiller, run them through a pitter, into the dehydrator. So it's about 2,000, 3,000 pounds of dried cherries a day, which is essentially somewhere in the neighborhood of 15 to 20,000 of fresh cherries. Many of the cherries are smothered in premium pastry chocolate. Which is softer and has a better mouthfeel and more flavor. And all of the products are packaged in a way that just makes them seem special. One of the things I've learned in my many years is bringing joy is just a huge thing in your daily life. And we can do that, so it's just fun. If you have never tasted Chucker Cherries, you can get free samples at Pike Place Market, but Ooh. why wait for you? Kim, This is uh, these are cherry quartets. These are absolutely delicious truffle cherries for you, Jim. Oh, thank you. Share those you. with your wife. Thank we still haven't gotten him anything. No, nope, nope, not going to either. Okay. That's okay. <laughs> hey, another great treat is toffee. And you can get it made by hand in Ferndale. Anytime Toffee is a family owned business specializing in small batch toffee. It comes in a variety of flavors and it's softer than most toffee, so it has the approval of the owner's dentist. Mm. <laughs> Pick it up at their shop or you can order some online. Toffee! <laughs> you know, if you're not sure what to give someone, plants are always a good idea. Uh -huh. Very true. And there is a shop in Pike Place Market that will really wow them because the plants there look like sculptures. It's simple, at the same time, it's beautiful. It's kokodama, a Japanese technique of planting that translates to moss ball. People describe it in different ways, but for me, it's just magical. It's a simple and natural way of potting. Basically, it's just a ball of soil covered with moss. Then I, we just use a string to hold it all together. It's very really relaxing. You can really like lose yourself. Camille Barba has found her zen creating hundreds of kokodama at her shop, Kubode, a name combining the word abode with a part of her heritage. Bahai Kubo, it's a stilt house in the Philippines. It's made of all natural materials. I was driving this way and I saw all of, it was just striking all of the plants in the window and I was like, I've got to go back there. It's beautiful, beautiful stuff that I hadn't seen before. It also makes a great gift, especially for first-time plant owners. Kokodama are actually easy to care for, making it a thing of beauty 
in every way. Yeah, it's a blessing for me to like discover this process and uh, share it with others. Such a great place and Kubota is open every day except Tuesday. Well, you know, sometimes the best gifts aren't things, yeah. objects, stuff like that. They're experiences. You just stole my thunder, Saint. Yes, experiences and Jose. I've always said that. Jose <laughs> has a great one for the adventurer in your life. It's called canyoneering. We offer canyoneering adventures in the Snoqualmie Pass area of Washington State. Basically what we do is we take people out into the wilderness and we show them a good time. We start off in the morning, we drive out to the canyon, and then we do a 30 minute hike with about 900 feet of elevation. We got to hike up to Dingford Creek, like a thousand feet up the trail. I'd say it's very approachable for anyone cool way to connect with nature. You get to see places you wouldn't normally get to see even from a hiking trail. Going out into like remote zones, more wilderness, I didn't see anyone else out there besides our team. And it was really cool to be able to recreate in such a beautiful area. We slide down waterfalls. We do some waterfall repelling. Just like a lot of new experiences and also like push your comfort level a little bit. Our trips are designed for people 12 and older and it's for anybody who wants to challenge themselves. We really want to help people challenge themselves and then overcome the difficulties. A lot of the times we think that things that are scary are dangerous, but in reality, sometimes they're just scary. After spending a full day of action and fun, I was wondering how my canyoneering was looking for the crew. Oh, I think you did awesome. You looked like you were very confident getting in there. <laughs> Jose was awesome. Jose was my favorite. Liar. I said my favorite. I didn't say you did the best. <laughs> oh, well, at least I had a great time connecting with nature. Don't go that away. And learn a thing or two about challenging myself. Thank you, Jose. Those adventures generally run from July to September, and you can book your 2024 adventure online. Mm, so good. Coming up, meet the women changing the world with lipstick. Welcome back to the show from the Seattle Christmas Market. All right, our next Northwest gift idea mm -hmm. makes a terrific stocking stuffer. It's great for your lips Ooh. and planet Earth. Meg Diaz is cooking up something she hopes will solve just a few of the world's problems. It's um, sometimes a little scary, but mostly like so much fun. She founded Vermouth, a beauty company specializing in lipstick, but their mission is much deeper. The first problem we wanted to solve was the problem of waste and the just getting the plastic out of it. Jill Jago says most of the lipsticks we use end up in landfills, mainly because of plastic parts. Uh, the tube, the twist up tube that we have is a hundred years old. And that's still what we're using. It's, it's, that's how long we've been using that tube. Vermouth's lipstick tube is 100% compostable. And the founders say it's also good for your body, made with sustainable ingredients. Meg was once a full-time artist and says it's partly why the colors are so striking and the design natural. It feels like an art tool because it is, but it's one everyone can use. I kind of use what I learned about how to make paint and how to suspend pigment in paint and thinking about how it looks over someone's skin and over their lips. Vermouth lipstick comes in flights with fun names like the BFF and Beach Reads. And so our flight of five is actually the equivalent of a full-size lipstick, but you get five different colors. It's a product designed to chip away at a few of the world's problems. And it just so happens to look good while doing it. We want to change the world. We want to change the way things are done. All right, if you would like to buy a flight of vermouth lip crayons. I would very much. That link is on our website. Well, if you want to buy a gift that says cheers, look no further than this cocktail garden in Buckley. That's where Simple Goodness Sisters grow the ingredients for their syrups, which make great mixers for cocktails or mocktails. They're offering a party punch kit and special gift boxes for the holidays, all available online. More sights and sounds from Seattle's Christmas market when evening returns. He loves the glue. Mm. The sound, <laughs> the sound of good. satisfaction, isn't it? <laughs> That's what it is. 
thanks so much for hanging out with us tonight at the Seattle Christmas Market at Seattle Center. Hope we helped you with your uh, holiday shopping list. Yeah. A little bit yeah. Right there. You can find links to everything we feature tonight on our website. And we leave you tonight with some more sights and sounds from here at Seattle Center. We'll see you next time. Wow.